Here is the topic of rule of law and respect for rights. This is the fourth feature of democracy. In context of this feature, you should know the story of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, a country of Africa. Zimbabwe got its independence from white minority rule in 1980. Since then, the country had been ruled by Janu PF. This party led the freedom struggle. Robert Mugabe was the leader of the party. He had been ruling the country since independence. He was very popular leader. Elections had been held regularly and always won by Janu PF. President Mugabe also used unfair practices in elections. Yani popular hone ke baad bhi wo election ko win karne ke liye dirty tricks use karta tha. His government had also changed the constitution several times and increased the powers of the president. But this made him less accountable to his citizens. Yani ki wo apne logo ke prati bohat uttar dai or responsible nahi tha. Opposition party workers were harassed and their meeting disrupted. Public protest and demonstrations against the government were declared illegal. Waha koi bhi demonstrations ya public protest allow nahi tha. Unhe illegal declared kiya gaya tha. Media bhi waha free nahi thi. Television and radio were controlled by the government and give only the ruling party's version. There were independent newspapers, but the government harassed those journalists who go against it. Moreover, the government has ignored some court judgments that went against it and has pressurized judges. This example shows that popular, popular approval of the rulers is necessary in a democracy, but it is not sufficient. Popular governments undemocratic ho sakta hai. Popular leaders autocratic bhi ho sakte hai. Autocratic means where powers are concentrated in the hands of a leader. He is all in all in making decisions and there is no choice of his subordinates. If we wish to assess a democracy, it is important to look at the elections, but it is equally important to look before and after the elections. Kuch aise points hai, jo election ke pehle bhi fulfill honi chahiye, aur kuch points elections ke baad bhi. Such as before elections. Before election, there should be sufficient room for normal political activity, including political opposition. Second, the state should respect some basic rights of the citizens. Third, they should be free to think, to have opinions. Fourth, they can express their opinions publicly. Next, they can form associations. Next, they can protest and take other political actions. Seventh, everyone should be equal in the eyes of law. Eight, there should be an independent judiciary to protect the rights of citizens. It means judiciary should be independent. After the election, first a democratic government cannot do whatever it likes. It has to respect some basic rules. It has to respect guarantees to the minorities. Or as agar hoga, tabhi minorities bhi Secure feel karenge. Next, every major decision has to go through a series of consultations. Next, every office bearer has certain rights 
and responsibilities by the constitution and the law and the last each of this is accountable not only to the people but also to other independent officials thank you